So hi everyone, my new book Lanchin in your pocket beginner's guide to building gen AI applications using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller as you can see it is trending on hash 3 on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. Uh, so hi everyone, today I will be demonstrating you uh, one of the best AI tools that I have figured out recently that is cursor AI that calls it to be AI first code editor and rightly so. So I have been using it for some while now and the results have been great. It can generate codes for you, it can fix bugs for you, it can run through your GitHub repository, it can fix your errors in the code, it can take up a writing style and what not. It is doing everything and in that too in an ID. So let's get started. I think uh, it provides you with three models. One is uh, GPT-4, GPT-3.5 and cursor fast. So for GPT models, uh, there are certain restrictions, but not for cursor fast, what I know. So uh, let's get started. So first of all, you need to download this particular exe file into your computer system. I have been using Windows. So I have already downloaded and set this up. So once I've set this up, the UI looks something like this. As you can see, this is one of my code repos that I've already opened up for the demonstration purpose, which is built around. This is a streamlit app basically. So let's get started. So first of all, we will demonstrate with generating codes. So let me, so for getting this particular prompt dialog box, you need to press control K. Once you get a control K, you can just write a prompt, add function for title in streamlet. That's it. Now, if you go to generate, here you can see that it is able to generate the code required and if you go for control plus accept the code gets added here now this was about adding codes at times you wish to update your logic as well like for example uh, for this you need to select your code and then either go for chat or edit for updating the code you need to choose edit and then update it accordingly so i will what i will do change pdf path to desktop slash temp dot pdf now here you can see that it is able to come up with the updated code and once you select it you can see that the path has been changed this was just a very small example but a lot of things can be done now here you can see that uh, there are no bugs for now but let me introduce certain issues in the code uh, let me do it sta for example now this will throw an error in a code now once you select it again go to edit and call fix now once you call fix it will automatically understand what has to be fixed and all the issues as you can see the double underscore the double dots sta has been updated to st has been updated by the code interpreter so that's the best part now at times you wish to understand the code also so I will select this code snippet and go to chat. Here you can see that there is a chat window that has been opened up. Let me ask it a question. What this code do? Now once I press enter, here you can see that it is able to summarize the code for you, whatever you have selected and is telling you what can be done. A long description around it. So this is a very nice feature from cursor that has been given there is a feature called a symbol also so once you do an add the rate in the chat window you get all these options and you can provide a, a file a folder a code web resources documentation also from certain uh, libraries like streamlit only like i'm using streamlit so i might provide for streamlit lint errors git repo code bases and then eventually ask questions around it and ask it to follow the same patterns and whatnot so if like for example let's see for documentation so by default it is providing for these if you wish to add a new one let me add for streamlit streamlit docs and you can add just a page also not not everything is required so if i go i will take a certain page only just for demonstration here you can see that it is getting added streamlit docs now streamlit docs has been added 
into the context of the LLM and it would be able to answer questions on that also. So it's uh, an a same can be done for web also and for your code base also. So here you can see that a command called as control plus code base. So that will enable LLM for all the files in the particular code base that you are using and eventually you can ask questions around it also. So once we are done, uh, you can ask it uh, fundamentals of streamlit for example. So now it is using the documentation. So do remember that because we have added as you can see at the rate streamlit documentation has been added here. So here you can, it is able to pick up from a documentation and this is how you can even enable documentation for cursor.ai. So till now we have seen how you can add codes, update code, fix issues, chat with your code extractor. There are more features present if you go to settings. Here you can make it agentic also. So you can give out certain rules for the LLM to follow that always, as you can see, it is giving a suggestion, always use functional react, never use unwrap and rust. In case of our particular use case, we can say, uh, always add comments while adding new code, etc. Features are there. So you can also play around with this. Copilot is enabled, always enable web search. So there are many options that are present. Beta options are also present. So I would wish you to check it out. It's worth using it. And I think the results also look very interesting and it's worth giving a try any day. Thank you so much. Hope that this is useful for you.